In Unit 3, we're going to be discussing the infinitives. When I think about the infinitive, I think about uh, what it's not. It's not finite. Okay, so what would be finite? Uh, a verb that's finite is basically everything we've been talking about until now. Take a word like katva. How is the word katva finite? First of all, it's third person. Second of all, it's feminine. And third of all, it's singular. And lastly, it's past tense. So we're dealing with, um, already right off the bat, three ways that it's uh, finite. Now when I'm dealing with the infinitive, right, it's going to be the opposite. It's not going to be limited by person, by gender, by number, or by time. Here we see a visual about how the infinitive is infinite. It encompasses all time, both past and future tense, all numbers, singular and plural, all people, I, you, he, they, etc., and both genders, masculine and feminine. Okay, so one word, the same word, is going to uh, apply to all of these. 